Crazy Face Million. Welcome back to another episode with your man Frank C. Uh, today I want to talk about a, another, another Eddie Like series uh, where, where we um, uh, kind of pit one really known fragrance against another. Uh, it's similar. It, it might be it might be a dupe. Most times it's, it's going to be more affordable. So, so we're going to get into that. But first, if this is your first time on the channel, uh, please consider subscribing as we bring you fragrance news and reviews you can use on a daily basis. Um, if this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing to all of my current subscribers. I appreciate your support. So thank you. Get back into it. So this is going to be a comparison uh, between from the, house, from the house of Dior, this is Dior Sauvage Elixir. I've done, I did a uh, review on this a while back, so check that out. And against this, this one, is really catch a lot of steam. It's from the house of Latafa, Latafa Assad. So, very nice box. Um, <clears throat> this is actually my scent of the day, uh, Latafa Assad was. And I uh, you know, sprayed, sprayed it like I normally would. I left this hand here, this right hand, I left it, um, I actually sprayed the Or Sauvage on just, just right hand, it's just for comparison's sake. So, um, we're going on uh, probably about, because um, I had a I had a, a meeting today, and um, I left the house maybe around 11 o'clock, because it was like an um, early afternoon meeting, so uh, here it is about 6 in the evening, and I'm still, still catching... Uh, the, the scent from both sides. Um, top side and that uh, the Or Sauvage Elixir is still a good one. You know, the Or Sauvage Elixir is really the only Sauvage I have in my collection. I'm not really a big fan of Sauvage. I'll probably get around to getting the EDP at some point because I like the EDP. But I don't really, I'm not really a big fan of the Sauvage line. Uh, Elixir is the only one I have. So, um, you know, in, in comparison, um, well, before we do that, let's just get into notes. So the notes on, um, Notes on um, Dior Sauvage are cinnamon, nutmeg, cardamom, grapefruit, lavender, licorice, sandalwood, amber, patchouli, and, and Haitian vetiver. So, what I get from that is very nice. It's like a, it's, it's like a, it's like a, um, a, a burning, spicy. It, it, it's, I, I can describe it as if, if, you, if you took um, like this, those, those spices, the cinnamon, the nutmeg, the cardamom. And just kind of threw it on a campfire. Is what, what I could get to my nose. It's like even you know, it's like a smoldering. And, and the lavender has a lot to do with that. The lavender can, can give you that kind of uh, smoldering, burning type sensation. Lavender, I, I, that's that's the main middle note. So I think the lavender combined with that cinnamon, nutmeg, caramel, all those spices, that sandalwood. Sandalwood gives it the smoothness, uh, but the nutmeg, cinnamon, caramel, those spices, along with the lavender, gives it that burning sensation. Yeah, it's grapefruit in there. I don't really pick the grapefruit too much, but I, I mostly the lavender and the spices. Really nice scent. I, I, I like it a lot. I mean, it's the only spice I have, and it's, it's for good reason. So, really nice scent. Eight to ten hours out of it every time. Really, really classy scent. I would just wear a t-shirt with this one. Really, really nice scent. It's mature. It's mature. It's probably like the mo most mature of the Sauvage line. Sauvage EDT. Boom, that's it. That's, you know, if, if you like that scent profile, I never really liked it, but if you like the scent profile, you know, I like uh, Prada Pro Luna Rosa Carbona. It's one of the first fragrances that really that got me into collecting. It's not saying in vain, so, you know, I like L L Luna Rosa Carbona, but I don't like the Sauvage. The Sauvage is just too sharp, but if you like that fresh, you know, sporty, out of the shower, really sharp, your Sauvage is good for that. I, I like the Elixir the best, so compare that to. Our friend here from Latafa, Latafa Assad. Uh, Latafa, Middle Eastern house. Yeah, you know, I profiled House Latafa on the Middle Eastern um, Sense of a Nation series. Assad Latafa, Latafa, Middle Eastern house, UAE, really good sense. You know, a lot of bangers. Uh, nice ornate, this is the box, nice ornate design. Looks like a lion hit lion's head on there. Really nice. It, it's kind of reminiscent of uh, uh, <coughs> Sauvage, so you see kind of. You know, um, the bottle is, is different. The bottle, a really ornate, nice bottle. See that? Uh, let's just do a, a refresher spray real quick. And then I'm, you know, I'm picking, still picking up whiffs. Um, yeah, yeah, this is really nice. Um, I actually got a compliment on this uh, from the lady, the receptionist at the at the office I went to, to, to the meeting today. So you smell really good. I was like, oh, thank you, thank you, you know. So. Uh, definitely 
definitely a, a great scent. The notes on uh, Latoff Assad, um, they're, they're really simple. Um, it's, it's only um, spicy notes, vanilla, clove, amber, and sandalwood. So five cents. And vanilla's not even an elixir, so i tell you what. Um, Latafa Assad and is so close to elixir, in my opinion, it, it's scary. Uh, I, I'm going to say... It, it, it's, it's probably almost a one-for-one one Duke. Latafa did a really good job on this. Um, you know, that, that mixture, I, I don't know how those mixtures even, the, the only, really the only um, note that it shares is, is sandalwood. I mean, clove is a spice, the clove is not an elixir. So somehow, some way that they've, they've combined it that, I mean, you know, I mean, we, we, we can probably throw on a, little half a spray because you know elixir you know that, that's just some pricey stuff so we do like a little like that i mean even the opening usually with these with these middle eastern houses like you know you might have a little rough opening then once it dries down it becomes whatever scent they're duping i mean this smells straight out the bottle almost a one for one for elixir it, like i said it, it's 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 almost scary how close they've gotten to this um, I picked up this uh, bottle of Assad uh, for about $26. I got it for Fragrance by CA. Um, I, I actually got put on the, the waiting list because the first time I tried to get it a while, a while ago, it, it sold out. It sold like like twice before I was able to get my hands on the bottle. Now I, looked, I just checked again and it sold out again. So um, it come, it, it, once it comes in, it, it definitely gets sold out like as soon as, as, soon as, it, as it hits because this, this one is definitely picking up steam. So, um, you know, if you want to get, you know, visit Frankers by CA and get on a waiting list or, you know, it's definitely worth picking up. If you don't have Elixir in your um, collection and, um, you know, the price, because this is really pricey, this is $150, $60, $160 for, uh, this is only a two ounce bottle. Now they have, now they have the 3.4 ounces for like, for like 230. Still, it's still really pricey. I mean, it's a great scent, but, um, I mean, for the value you, you get with this one, I mean, less than $30, and it's the same performance. It's almost a one-for-one. One. I'm, I'm gonna say it's about about 95% there. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's I, I really can't really discern, you know, even the spraying again. I mean, it performs the same, smells the same. It, it's just crazy good. So, uh, if you don't wanna, wanna spend that that uh, that money for that, uh, that elixir, but still have the same smell, I think it's definitely worth, worth, worth getting. If you, if you can find it, find it anywhere, it's definitely worth, pick, worth getting because it's getting sold out left and right. So, picking up steam. So, uh, from the house of, of Assad, I'm sorry, it's the house of the top of top of Assad, and we went uh, head to head with the uh, elixir. I'm going to say it's definitely worth picking up if you don't have elixir in your collection and, or you don't want to pay that price tag for the, for the, uh, the original elixir. For a few minutes, all I have for you later until next time. Thank you.